let us come back and solve your 2016 papers 2016 paper they've given two questions one and a half mark each so let's read this what do they give us uh, basically your uh, hybridization vbt the whole concept i've done in video number 30 31 and 32 please go through that video you'll have all the hybridization that is your sp3 sp3 d2 dsp2 all the hybridizations are given uh, for you i'll do this example again let's see for the complex feh2 is plus uh, given given complex that is your iron with water as a ligand is given to me like this what what should i find out i have to find out hybridization magnetic character and your spin of the complex okay that is right so basically your hybridization then magnetic behavior right then okay i'll write for this this one here here uh, and spin okay that is i have to calculate spin spin that is mu s okay let's start so when i have such uh, a complex given first as soon as it is given just see your atomic number is given to you so of iron atomic number is 26 according to that i am writing the configuration 26 is atomic number it is 3d64 uh, is 2 perfect once you write this start with your step one calculation of oxidation state so how do you calculate for this complex fe h2o taken 6 plus 3 what is the nature of water water is a neutral molecule as well as it is okay let us write it is a neutral molecule and it is a weak field ligand weak field ligand i'm writing shortcut so now this is a neutral molecule i said so the oxidation state is zero x plus zero is equal to plus three so x is equal to three isn't it now take come back to the configuration in step two you're going to write iron in your ground state what is iron in the ground state 3d6 4s2 second fe okay 3d6 4s2 i have to represent here 1 2 3 4 5 and 4s2 so your 3d6 write it here 4s2 write it here so 6 isn't it filled according to hunt's rule 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is 4s2 fill it like this now iron in the excited state that means your this one after losing ah, how many electrons should it lose three electrons so here in this particular uh, thing when i have to calculate so 4s it's going to lose two electrons from here this becomes 4s0 it's going to lose uh, to one electron from here it's become it's going to become 3d5 so write this so now five half filled one two three four five and 4s is zero okay nothing now this is done now what happened how many ligands are going to come and donate the electrons here in this case you have six water molecules six ligands so one ligand will come and attack here so this is water so one ligand here so total i need six empty orbit vacant orbitals isn't it one two three four so all these are ligands all these are water okay this is water so done all four are over i i need two more so i am going to draw d orbital after this d so here what happened one two three four five six all these are going to hybridize these will hybridize together to form a person hybrid uh, and from the complex so what is this this is s this is p3 this is d2 done so the hybridization which i got here is sp p3 d2 so the hybridization is sp3 d2 done now i have to see the magnetic behavior now observe carefully i said water is a weak field ligand it is not going to pair up very important the pairing energy as i said there less than your mm, delta naught so it will not pair up and all are unpaired electrons hence the magnetic behavior is paramagnetic in nature unpaid means paramagnetic i have to calculate spin of the complex which is calculated by the formula mu s is equal to root n into n plus 2 how many unpaid n is n is equal to unpaired electrons n is your unpaired electrons how many unpaid electrons we have five so use that mu s is equal to root 5 into 5 plus 2 that is equal to 7 5 is so 35 root 35 it is 5.9 bore magneton 
this is your answer 5.9 bohm magnetron so this is your first question you can further watch the videos that is your video number 30 31 32 the concept is given there the concept is given there clearly you can watch the video here vbt you'll have an idea then it's easy for you to understand this let us come back and do the second question right so now let us come back and see the part b question very interesting question given here they asked me draw one one of the geometrical isomers okay i have to draw basically we have two types of geometrical isomers what are they the geometrical isomers which i have studied is cis isomer and trans isomer next cis means on the same side trans means on the opposite side this is your concept which you have studied done and they have given me a complex so pt e into cl2 plus 2 okay now they have given me a clue here which is optically inactive okay they don't want me to draw both they want me to draw only one complex but in among these two which is optically inactive i have told you already in the optical isomerism concept very important thing I said the trans isomers are always optically inactive. The cis isomers, yes, they will rotate the plane polarized light and they form an enantiomer. They are going to form a mirror image of that. Always remember, watch the video, optical isomerism video clearly explained. So in that uh, particular the thumbnail also is mentioned on that. But here, always remember, cis isomers are optically active. You will watch this video, you will understand what am I trying to explain. Trans are always inactive. So, optically uh, optically inactive. So, what did they ask me to write? They asked me to write which isomer? Trans isomer. Let's draw. Now, I have a comp clear concept uh, here. Let's take this. Now, platinum. How should I draw? How many are there? Ethylene diamine. One ethylene diamine, two donor sites. Two ethylene diamines, four donor sites. Four plus two, six. So, let us make the six octahedral complex like this done but i have to draw what trans be careful one cl here one cl here trans means opposite side isn't it the one cl done now fill this is an chelating ligand fill it like this now fill it like this done so what is the charge on that plus two so this is your trans isomer trans isomer you're going to write because your answer is here this is what the examiner is going to see with the structure and you will write optically inactive nothing to write here this is your concept this is what the examiner expects you to draw